Hi everyone, my name is Sonia. Today we will talk about this thing. Let's get started. So let's start with the shell. It comes in jar like Pringles chips. Rock shells were the first impact launchers. They didn't need gas. The device is a rifled barrel and a mechanism for striking a grenade. The shot is carried out due to the energy of the explosion of the pyro composition in the bottom of the grenade. To activate the capsule, there is a movable rod in the center of the launcher. At the moment of pressing the center of the trigger, the rod sharply hits the grenade capsule. Unlike the tap kick shell, the rock shell doesn't require reloading to cock the firing mechanism. You can just load the grenade and shoot again. This is very convenient for muzzle loading grenade launchers such as the GP30. The first versions of rock shells were made at a low technological level. The cuts were not accurate. The pyrotechnic charge left a large amount of soot which very quickly made the sleeve unusable. After the release of the kick shell from TUG, RAG has upgraded its shell. The barrel began to be made more accurately. The pyrotechnic charge in grenades has become better and leaves less carbon deposits. The shell length is 111 mm. That is how it fits into a 40 mm pouch. Let's compare rock with kick shell and sell it to shell. The kick shell and drug shell barrels look the same. The carving of the bottoms is identical. The rock barrel can be used on both shells. Kick barrel cannot be connected to a rock shell. The difference between the bottoms of the shelves. How it fits the M79 grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is quite tight. If you insert nervously a shell during a fight, it can jam. You need to learn how to charge carefully. It may not be compatible with some grenade launchers. The weight of the rock shell is 135 grams and the kick shell is 171 grams. This is what rock grenades look like. They come in packs of six. It is written, the range is more than 100 meter, the filler is pissed, and storage conditions. The grenades are of different types. The first with a time delay, the second instant action on impact, the third smoke. I only have a time delay. 
The body is made of cardboard. The vitamins powder are made of polymer. I recommend storing in a dry sealed package with a silica gel, as any cardboard products absorb moisture and do not work stably. So compared to the kick shell grenade. There is a slight compatibility of the barrels with the kick shell. Theoretically, it was possible to shoot a rag grenade from a tuck shell and a tuck grenade from a rock shell, but this could not be done since the grenades, although they are mutually compatible, have a slightly different initiation mechanism. If you load a red grenade into a kick shell, then the movable rod does not reach the piston. You can try with a rock shell and a tuck grenade. We will do this at the shooting range. That is rock shell in a charged state. The rocks we need enter the kick shell, but very tight. The tongue grenade easily fits into the rock shell. That's how a rock grenade fits into a pouch. Rock grenade's weight is 50 grams, tug grenade is 27 grams. The length of rock grenade 100 mm. Comparison of a rock shell and a kick shell in a charged state. Let's shoot. The flash and sound of the shot is slightly larger than the kick shell. The flight distance is noticeably more than 100 meters. It flies well. The barrel and sleeve must be cleaned after playing, but carbon deposits are noticeably less than in the first versions of shells. Mm -mm. One grenade flew badly, about 50 meters.
Let's try to fire a tag grenade. The drummer pricks the piston, but the piston does not work. Shooting an attack grenade from a rock shell will not work. When firing at night, it suddenly turned out that the rock grenade has a trace, which is very convenient for aiming and correcting shooting. The remains of a grenade that I could find. Peas. The fragment of the base is quite light and heavy. There is one more moment. The rod on the grenade launcher must have a large stroke, at least 5 mm, otherwise the shell will not work. So advantages of rug are The first, another manufacturer made a shell that has high reliability in the cold season. No need to use gas, rubber bands and valves. Good firing range. No need to cock the case each time it it will be very convenient to use for muzzle loading grenade launchers and automatic grenade launcher belts. The loading of the case is not as tight as that of the kick shell. Cheaper grenades, about two times cheaper than a tug depending on the store. Minus is on, noise and flash of a shot like a kick shell. The need to clean the device from carbon deposits, shell and grenade launcher. Inability to use under some grenade launchers. Most likely mad bull. Less reliable grenades as they are made of paper. Of course the conclusion is still superficial and it takes time to form a clear opinion, but I recommend this product for consideration. And one more thing. The rock company needs to think about its marketing policy. You made the first serial F1 airsoft grenade with an active bracket in the key's countries. But now the market is occupied by other companies. The same applies to the mechanical percussion shells.